Hi guys, welcome back. It's Nancy and I have another new stamp from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. This one is called Palm Tree Beach. Very simple um, silhouette image. Um, I like the coloring here, but I think we can make it a little brighter. So I have a piece of Nina White cardstock here. Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut down to five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna tuck that into the bottom left corner of my mini Misty. I have a piece of that Ranger sticky grid tape in the background there. Then I'm going to place my stamp in that bottom left corner. Okay. And we are going to stamp it in some archival ink. We're going to color in with pan pastel. So we're going to do the double stamping method. So this is the archival ink I'm going to use. I have my Blue Night Rubber Stamps magnetic handle on there. I will link everything in the description for you. So I'm going to ink that up. And it does not need to be super black at this time because I just want my uh, kind of my base layer of how everything looks. Okay, that's all I want. This blue piece of paper right here, that circle, that's just a piece of masking paper. It's my moon. Now I'm going to pull this whole thing out so that when I put this back in the misty, we're going to be able to line it back up where it belongs. So we're going to move this out of the way for a second. And we're going to play with some pan pastels here. I will link. These are also on the Blue Night Rubber Stamps webpage. Okay, I have paper towel and some sponges. I mean, yeah, paper towel, some sponges, pan pastels, all that good stuff. All right, so I want that to be pretty white. I want that to be our moon, but I want to start coloring our water and our sky in. So I'm going to grab this sponge here. It does have a little bit of blue on it, but that's okay. And I'm going to bring in our night and day palette, which has blues, greens, and purples on it. And we're just going to start laying down some color. I'm going to start with the lighter blue, which is called turquoise. And kind of put that into my water here. Now I do have some phthalo blue on my sponge, so that's kind of mixing in there, but that's okay. And... I do want to mimic that in my sky. Okay, so now what I want to do is start darkening it up. Um, I'm going to go into that phthalo blue, kind of go in the middle here, drag that down. I'm also going to add some of that into our water. Just mixing it up and gonna add some of the black the very top here and we'll blend all that in in a second and then what I want to do is grab a cleaner sponge and we're going to use some of the titanium white which is actually in our sunset sunrise palette if you don't have white Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to do white. I'm going to show you guys the eraser method here. So you just take an eraser, and I'm kind of going to want to lighten this middle area here. So this is where our moon would be reflecting, right? So we're just going to erase that. You could go in with the white. If you don't have white, you can go in with uh, an eraser and just erase that color. There's also a color that is called pearl white, which is this right here. I'm going to add the white just because I do have it. It's just going to lighten that area for us. 
but I'm also going to go in over the top of the water with the pearl white. I'm just going to take my sponge, dip into that pearl white, and all across the top of that water, I'm going to add that pearl white. Now, what it's going to do is, number one, it's going to dull down the color a little bit, but number two, it's going to give our, our water some sheen. If you think that's too light, you don't like it, listen, we can always go back in and darken that water back up. Go back in. That's what's fun about pan pastels. You don't like something, you can add more. You don't like something, you can go back in and erase it. And then the rest is pretty easy. We just want to do our beach, some waves. So I do want to add some of this lighter blue. This is, I think it's turquoise tint. Yeah, turquoise tint is a little bit lighter blue. I'm just going to do that on the edge here. It's water, so it doesn't need to be real precise. This is just more turquoise down here. More of that phthalo blue there. And then the darkest blue is called, I'm sorry, the purpley blue is called ultramarine blue. So we're going to add some of that in the water. It's a real bright blue. I'm just going to go around some of that ultramarine blue in here. So we have turquoise blending in the ultramarine blue, blending in the phthalo blue, blending into the black. And then what we can do, if you really want everything to blend well, I always recommend using the colorless blender. The colorless blender is clear. And what it's going to do is just remove any kind of streakiness. It's going to blend all of these colors together. Oops, Got too much black there. So once again, if you have too much black, just go in and color right over it. It's really, really simple. So pan pastels are really highly pigmented, super fine chalk. Professional artists use them very much like a regular pastel, but they are in a pan form. It's not a stick form. And they're just really easy to use, really easy to blend, really easy to add color, and super easy to clean up. I think we're good there. Let's go in and add some beach. Okay, so for the beach, I do have some other colors that I purchased separately. You can find these at your local Blick art store. You can order them online at Amazon. But I would say start with the day and night palette or start with the sunrise sunset palette and uh, see what you can get out of it. And then if you like it, then you can always add more colors. All right, so this guy's a little bit. And you don't have to really wash your sponges. You just rub them out on a paper towel until they clean off, and then um, you can move on. Okay, so I have this kind of yellowish color. It's called yellow ochre. We're going to go in with that. Might be a little too heavy there. And we're going to add that to our beach here. I am going to dab in a little bit of brown with that, some raw umber.
Now I got some blue in there. It's transferred over. No problem. Take my eraser and erase that out of there. some of that raw umber which is like the brownish color see that make some yellow ochre in there and it looks like sand like that kind of white sea surf look here that we had going on so I'm just gonna go back in with my eraser between the beach and the water I'm just gonna lighten that area up and the artist has already done this work for you so you know all you got to do is follow along their artwork there and have this little actually have little here we go little detail tools you can use and I'm gonna go back in with some of the brown and just kind of where I think there should be shadows you can again just follow the artwork that the the artist has done here for you you can go in and add some more shadows there just to give that sand some dimension and then on the back side of that, between the water and the beach, we're gonna add some titanium white. And again, you don't have to add the white, you can just go in and erase everything with your eraser. But I am gonna go in and add some of that white in there. Now that's just part of the surf splashing up. This is a little bit lighter yellow. This is, I believe, yellow ochre tint. It is yellow ochre tint, which is more of a lighter fleshy color yellow. Can't explain it. And you just keep blending and before you know it, you have a moonlit beach with a surf. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I want to take my mask off. That's our moon. We're gonna clean that up in a second. Now again, I wanna go in with some of that pearl white. Before I start, I'm going to take a clean sponge. And I'm going to push some of that chalk outwardly. So I don't want it in my moon like it is there. I'm gonna just gently push outward, okay? Because that's extra chalk. So uh, then I can go in with my eraser and clean that up. Very easy to do, kind of smooth out those edges. And then go in with the pearl white again and put some sparkle in our moon there. And then I'm gonna add that pearl white again, just right here in the middle. Okay, 
All right, so now we're pretty much done with the coloring. Not very hard to do, pretty easy, Moonlit Beach. This stamp set has a sentiment that says, his mercies are new every morning. So I would save that if I was doing the Sunrise set. See, I've done several Sunrise cards. So because we're not doing a Sunrise card, I'm not going to put that sentiment on there. But there is a sentiment included with the stamp. So now I want to bring my Mini Misty back in. And because we left our card panel on the... Uh, when I have a laminated piece of paper, I'm able to tuck this back into the left-hand corner. And by doing that, now I will be able to re-stamp this. So every place that the uh, pan pastels has kind of overtaken the stamped image, by double stamping it, we'll be able to get that back. So I'm just gonna put my bar magnet over here just so it holds this down in place. And we are going to re-ink, and it takes a couple of, um, stampings but it'll look really nice I think I need to re-ink my ink pad here Oops. That looks okay, but I still want it darker. I'm going to re-ink this real quick. And what I do is just kind of zigzag my ink on there, one direction, then go in another direction. And then if it's not soaking in, this is actually soaking in pretty quickly. Do it again. And you'll find with these permanent inks, like the stays on and the archivals, you do need to re-ink more often. I have an old like credit card or gift card and you can smear that ink in to get it to soak down. So now it should be okay. I wanna again, make sure that this is pressed down and to the left so it's all the way into this corner before I stamp it again. I'm gonna re-ink my stamp. And you could do this method with distress inks as well. That looks pretty good. I just gotta do a little bit more of this silhouette right here, the little hill. And when it comes to these silhouette images, it really does make it easier if you have some kind of a stamp positioning tool. So whether you have a Misty or the Tim Holtz, I know there's some other brands that used to be out there. I think We Are Memory Keepers has one because you wanna make sure that it gets lined up perfectly every single time. So there we have our evening scene, our moonlit beach. Now everyone always asks, how do I set my pan pastels in? I have a spray box. I'm very carefully going to pick, pick this panel up if it would stop sliding. Okay, here we go. And then I pr place it in my spray box. And I use these Krylon shortcuts. You can pick this up at most craft stores. I believe Joann's and AC Moore's carry it. This is called Clear Gloss. It's like $5 for this little bottle. And real quick, a couple spritzes. That's it. Now our pan pastels are locked in. And it only takes a few minutes to dry. Then I'll cut the panel down and place it on a card front. So very easy to do an ocean, sorry, a moonlit beach scene. Once again, this stamp is called Palm Tree Beach 
from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. So I will link that and the pan pastels for you. They are all from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Also check out the blog and the Blue Night Rubber Stamps webpage. We have other design team members which also make fabulous cards and you can get some other design ideas for this same stamp. If you have any questions, post them down below. Again, I'll link everything in the description for you. If you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. And once again, thanks for stamping. Bye-bye.